time that you are faced with this kind of question, this is how to solve it. Welcome to JJ Online Math Class. Let's dive into the business of the day. Now, this is what we have. The first thing you need to do is to simplify this. And always call whatever you have inside your bracket something. Now, we are going to call as x. So, you are going to say, let root 2 minus 1 be equal to x. Now, that is going to do what? It's going to simplify this um, expression. Thus, it's going to be x to the power of 12 is equal to what? Alright? Now, let's call this equation 1. Now, we said root 2 minus 1 is equal to x, right? Now, let's transfer this minus 1 to this side. If we do that, minus 1 crosses to become plus 1. So, we are going to have root 2 is equal to x plus 1. Now, in order to remove this square root sign, we are going to do what? Take square, uh, we are going to square both sides of the equation. So, when we do that, we have root 2 squared is equal to x plus 1 squared. Okay, now we solve. When we do that, this is what we are going to have. This is going to cancel this. So we have that 2 is equal to. This is what? An algebra identity. Yes. The algebra identity of A plus B squared is equal to what? A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Okay? All right. Now we are going to uh, express this in this form. So, we are going to have a squared, that is x squared, right? So, this is x squared plus 2ab. That is 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 1. Because our a is x and our b is 1. All right. Plus b squared, that is 1 squared. Okay. Now, we have that 2 is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, we are going to bring out x squared. Always bring out x squared. You are going to see why, all right? x squared, a squared, b squared, no matter the alphabet you decided on your own to use, okay? So, we are going to, to in order that to get x squared, we are going to transpose everything to this side of the equation. So, we are going to have plus 2x will be transposed to have, to get minus 2x, plus 1 will be transposed to get minus 1, is equal to x squared. Now, 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So, we have 1 minus 2x is equal to x squared. Now, this is a very important equation. So, we are going to call this equation 2. This was our equation 1, right? Now, this is why we got x squared. I want us to go back to law of exponents. The law of exponents or uh, m states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, right? Yes. Now, this is what we have. x to the power of 12. Now, it see, that means that x to the power of 12 can be expressed as x to the power of 6 raised to the power of 2. Since 2 times 2 will give us 12. Now, this can be further, further simplified as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 everything raised to the power of 2 because 3 times 2 will give us 6. Now, everything we will try is, we get, first of all, try to get x to the power of 3. We are going to square our x to the power of 3 to get x, and then we square whatever we got to get this. You can see how easy it is. So, this becomes our guide. Now, we have x squared. We can easily get x to the power of 3. How? Now, I'm going to copy equation 2, but I'm going to copy it the other way around. So, I'm going to write x squared first. So, I will have x squared is equal to 1 minus 2x. Okay? Now, recall that I'm, my intention is to get x to the power of 3. And I know that when I multiply x squared by x to the power of 1, I will have x. Because according to the law of indices, when you have the same base, okay, and they are multiplying each other, you pick one of the base, which is x, right? Then you are going to add the power. That is 2 plus 1. So I'm going to get x to the power of 3. So that means if I multiply true by x, I'll get x to the power of 3, okay? So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Multiply true by x, you are going to have 
x to the power of 3 is equal to x multiplied by 1 minus 2x. Okay? So, let's continue. So, I have to clean this. I have to. All right. So, we have x to the power of 3 is equal to what? x times 1 will give us x. Minus x times 2x will give us 2x squared. Now, recall what I said, that this is a very important equation. So, that means that we are going to do what? We are going to substitute x, this, for x to the power of 2. So, we have that x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 2 brackets. Our x squared is 1 minus 2x. So, we have 1 minus 2x. So, we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 2 times 1 will give us 2, and 2 times minus 2x will give us minus 4x. Alright? Okay. Sorry. Minus 2 times 1 will give us minus 2, and minus 2 times minus 2x will give us plus 4x. So, we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x plus 4x will give us 5x minus 2. Now, you can see that we have gotten our x to the power of 3. Recall that our intention is to get x to the power of 6, which we can get that when we square what? x to the power of 2, alright? So, when we square x to the power of 3, we are going to get x to the power of 6. Then we are going to square x to the power of 6 to get our answer. You see how amazing it is. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. Yes. That is if you still want to see this face. That means you need to turn that bell on. So that anytime I upload a video, you are going to be notified. Alright? So that you don't miss our amazing videos. Then don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you. So like I said, let's go ahead and get x to the power of 6 by squaring x to the power of 3. All right, so x to the power of 3 squared is equal to 5x minus 2 squared. All right, so like this we have x to the power of 6 is equal to, so we have another algebra identity. Yes, the one that says that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right? Now, in this case, our a is 5x and our b is 2. Okay? Our a is 5x and our b is 2. So, we are going to substitute that here. So, it's going to be a squared. That is 5x squared, which will give us 5 squared will give us 25. x squared, right? Minus 2ab. That is minus 2 times our a is 5x, so 2 times 5x will give us 10x. 10x times 2 will give us what? 20x. That is 2ab. All right. Then, plus b squared, that is plus 2 squared, which is plus 4. All right. Now, we have x to the power of 6, okay, is equal to 25. See our lovely equation again, x squared. So, I'm going to pick it again, 1 minus 2x. The intention is for you not to make to simplify the equation, okay? So that's how we are substituting x to the power of 2. Each time we got x to the power of 2. So that we simplify it, okay? Now, so that we don't go ahead to start solving, uh, find the value of x using quadratic equation formula, blah, 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 all right? Now, our x squared is 1 minus 2x. So 1 minus 2x minus 20x plus 4. Okay. Um, I think I'll continue from here because I don't want to write where people cannot see. Okay. All right. So this is what we have here. Then our x to the power of 6 is equal to, so we're going to open this bracket. 25 times 1 will give us 25, right? Then 25 times minus 2x will give us minus 50x, right? Minus 50x. Then minus 20x minus 20x plus 4 plus 4. Okay, so x to the power of 6 then is equal to 25 plus 4 will give us 29. Minus 50x minus 20x will give us minus 70x. Alright, we are close to the answer. Recall. 
that when we now square x to the power of 6, we have gotten x to the power of 12. Because recall that our x is equal to root 2 minus 1. Alright, now x 6 to the power of 2 then should be equal to the whole of this, right? To the power of 2. Everything squared. Now, we are going to apply our law, our algebra identity as well. Because this is a minus b squared. Which will give us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we have x, 6 times 2 will give us 12, is equal to, so it's going to be a squared, that is 29 squared. Now 29 squared, I'm going to solve this using my trick. And if you need that trick, I'm going to copy it, the, the link, I'm going to drop it on the description box, okay? Just go there if you need to know how I how these tricks are being used, okay? Now this is the trick, 9 squared will give me 81. 2 squared will give me 4, which is the same thing as 0, 4, okay? Now, 2 times 9 is 18, and I'll double 18 to get 36, okay? Then I'm going to add, we have 1, 8 plus 6 will give us 14, so I'll write 4 and carry 1, 4 plus 3 will give us 7 plus 1 will give us 8. So it simply means that 29 squared is 8, 4, 1, all right? So that is what I'm going to write now. So I'll write 8, 4, 1. Alright, now a squared is what we just did, right? Minus 2ab, that is minus 2 times 29 times 70x. Now let me write it to avoid confusion. 2 times 29 times 70x. Now plus b squared, that is 70x, everything squared. Now x to the power of 12 is equal to 841, okay? minus now 2 times 29 okay this is easy 2 times 70 is 140 right so let's do 140 multiplied by 29 so 140 times 29 9 times 0 is 0 9 times 4 is 36 9 times 1 is 9 plus 3 is 12 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 1 is 2 so we have 0 plus 0 we bring down 0 now 6 plus 0, I hope this is 0, right? Yes, it's 0. So 6 plus 0 is 6. Now 2 plus 8 is 10, carry 1. So we have 4, 0, 6, 0. That is all we have there. 4, 0, 6, 0. So we have 4, 0, 6, 0. 4, 0, 6, 0, x. Plus now 70 squared is same thing as 700 times 7, which is 4,900 x squared. Cool. <laughs> Aye, okay, don't mind me. Let's continue. Okay, so we have that x to the power of 12 is equal to, and um, this is what we have, 841, 841, right, minus 4060x, 4060x, plus 4900, 4900. Oh, we uh, our x squared, we deleted what we got there, and our x squared, our x squared is what that should be 2x minus 1. So our x squared is 1 minus 2x. I deleted that, sorry, 1 minus 2x. Okay, so we have x to the power of 12 is equal to 841 minus 4060x. Plus, now, 4,900 times 1 will still give us 4,900. Now, 4,900 times minus 2x will give us minus 9,800x. Okay? So, we have x to the power of 12 is equal to 841. Okay, 841 plus 4,900. 4,900 and 841. We have 1, we have 4, we have 7, we have 5. So, it's going to be plus... 75741. So it's going to be 5741. That is this plus this. We give us 5741. All right. Now minus this minus this, which is the same thing as 984060. We are adding 0, 6, 8, 1, 3, 8, 6. So it's going to be 13860. But because it's negative, negative, it's going to be minus. 13860x. 
Okay. Now we have x to the power of 12 is equal to what? 5741 minus 13806 brackets. Now recall that our x is what? Root 2 minus 1. Our x is root 2 minus 1. So we are going to write root 2 minus 1. Alright? So we have x to the power of 12 is equal to 5741 minus now when this multiplies root 2 we have 13860 root 2 then minus this multiplied by minus 1 minus minus will become plus we have 13860 okay so x to the power of 12 is equal to we are going to add this to this okay so 13860 plus 5741 0 plus 1 is 1 this is 10, carry 1. This is 16, carry 1. This is 9. If I make mistake anywhere, please correct me in the comment section. So this is 1960. 19601. Okay? Alright. Now, minus, this is what? 13860 root 2. Then recall that x is what? Our x is root 2 minus 1. So we'll write root 2 minus 1 to the power of 12 is equal to 19601 minus 13860 root 2. And this should be the simplest form of this. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.